mission, let's hit the road Looking back, I know they probably doubt me Now the city on my back, I wear it proudly I'm a hero in the making <laughs> If I'm dreaming, you can't wait my time I'm seizing the moment Cause I gotta go for the time's gone Ain't scared of the dark Cause I'm bringing the light with a nice long I shine on Hey guys, it's Rottweiler here Back at it again with another video And today I'm gonna be doing something a little different Something a little special And that is doing a VOD review or a set review, I should say, of a, uh, a very popular set in Rivals, probably the most popular set in Rivals, and that is MSB versus Moogie Frostbite 2018. Alright, MSB obviously starting off with The Rock, establishing the zoning capabilities of Krag. Look at that, oh that was so good. So this is what I mean by Craig is such a really good zoner. With the Rock, he becomes like an insane character. Because right here, he picks up the Rock. Go back even. Picks up Rock here. Throws the Rock to punish the down tilt. Mookie tries to outspace the Rock by you know running away, but it's not far enough. He should have parried it, but no one wants to parry the Rock because it's hard. So he just eats the eight damage from the Rock. Bounces off. Oh my God, it's so sick. <laughs> the Rock bounces off Mookie. Uh, MSB recatches it, puts it down. And then gets a fair off of that for the mix-up. Mugi runs into it, not expecting that. He picks the rock up again. <laughs> sets it on the platform and breaks it with down B. And then it's... The, the zoning capabilities of rock are just insane. Because now Mugi tries to parry, but it's so hard to parry rock and pebbles. So he just eats like 10 damage there. He picks he throws the rock in the air, picks it up while it's in the air after he threw it. Throws it down. And then he nares it with... He hits it with nair 1. Which sends the rocks in this angle so just by picking up one rock earlier he was able to do all this zoning and 30 damage from like and he hasn't even gotten close to clearing it she hasn't got close to him either because she can't get in he just kind of playing the slow game but moogie not gonna let that shake him gets a doubt oh my god goes for grab but uh, goes for grab again but it's safe on parry thankfully for moogie so Mugi just trying to build up damage that he, you know, kind of make up for like that deficit he was at before. And he's basically done it with a couple of hits here. Jab, jab, F tilt, get him off stage. Nair up air, that should be a stock, yep. That's a classic, uh, crack confirm. Yeah, Mugi just not going far enough with his approaches, but he still gets in with the F tilt. Oh, it's scary. This is very scary if you're crack. Beats the rock with that Nair, that's scary. Okay, but he DI's back on stage. Oh, oh, he doesn't get the tipper F smash out of that grab. Definitely could have. Oh, but he gets the gimp with the nair. Oh, that was too slow. Look at this net. Oh my god. I, I swear I don't agree with this upbeat. It's, it gets hype, but it doesn't even. It's not really accomplishing anything unless you get the tipper. But it's definitely hype, so. Like, and then Crack can also do that. That's crazy. And this is kind of hard for Cry to get back, because uh, Claren is really good in that position. If you have to come low from the ledge like that, oh, but Crack has rock. He has everything back now, so it's fine. Oh, that was almost not fine, actually. Mugi was any faster on that, he would have just killed him. It was actually smart for, uh, how does that, how does that hit him? How does that kill him, even? I don't think that was even tempered, but that actually killed, which is insane. Especially on Crag. that does not kill Crag. But, um... Yeah, it was actually smart earlier. I'm going to go back just real quick. Right here. Right here, right? I believe MSB could have teched her because he's in the air, as you can see. And if and if he teched on this platform, he'd be putting himself in a way worse spot because Moogie could be right underneath him with like a smash attack or just a tipper aerial or tipper anything, and that would have killed him at 200. So he chooses not to tech here and go off stage, which is actually safe and good. But, and he makes the pillar here, which is fine. And now that he makes it, he, he, at this point, he's, like, actionable. So it's fine that he pillared this high. What's not fine is the fact that he chose to jump immediately right here. And I, I swear this isn't a tipper up B, which is why it's so shocking this kills. But Mookie gets it. Oh my God. <laughs> Baits the parry and then fares him for it. Oh, my. This is so good. This, this, is, this is insane. More Clarence need to do this. It gets anyone with a projectile harassing you off stage right here. You just counter it, and they even buffed this in, the, in one of the recent patches, where if you actually use Clarence down B in the air, you will regain your double jump. So from this position, 
Mugi, who made a great play here to pair or to uh, counter that projectile, could get a he could double jump instead of doing that. That up B, which was actually punishable the way he did it, he would be able to just to jump, which is nice. That's a really good change because that down B doesn't have too many uses. And gets fair off stage and crack things. This just, just gets fair. <laughs> yeah, Mugi just playing around and now actually getting the space and it goes for Dare there, hoping he would di in. So he just wants to get land his spike at this point. Great option there. This is what people people normally try to parry cracks uh, side B, and it's really bad to do that. Like unless they start here. Actually, this is this is okay. Um, if they start in the air like this, yeah, parry the side B, but on the ground. Uh, do not try to parry the side B. Do what Moogie do, does here and just jump because you see this? You see that turnaround MSB just did there? While Craig is doing that turnaround, he has no hitbox at all. And you'd be thinking, why does that matter? Well, if you if you try to parry the hit from that side B while he's doing the turning, you will not get the parry. In fact, you will miss with your parry and then the hitbox will start back up when he starts rolling and it'll hit you anyway. So instead of dealing with that like 50-50 of he could either just run at me or he could turn at me and then I don't get the parry, you can just jump out of the way and punish the end leg. Like so, right? But yeah, if, if they start it in the air... I'll just, I'm just going to talk about this. So MSB gets hit by Tipper Fair, DI's in, and gets Tipper Dare. Loses the loses first game, and uh, there there I am, <laughs> popping off. <laughs> yeah, uh, this was really hype. As you can see, the entire venue on the left, like where I like my, where I am, where I'm sitting. This is where like the rivals like uh, side is, and you have everyone on like that side in the entire venue, uh, just popping the fuck off, and you can't really hear it. But uh, maybe you can. I don't know what you can pick up with this microphone. But the uh, the left side is completely popping off. And the right side is like, yo, what's going on over there? <laughs> They're like, oh, the bayonetas are ruining the game. <laughs> and then you got rivals just getting hype over Claren of all characters. <laughs> so, yeah, I just get hype. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> I'm like, let's go, Moogie, or some shit. I forgot what I said. So, I forgot what the fuck I said, but I was just fucking... The adrenaline was running. Somehow, MSB starts his game off stage, but it's fine because he's Craig. He's not, he's not going to die unless he gets gimped. That's the only time Craig actually dies early. Or Raster. That's another you know, time he dies early. This is, that was a great combo. I'm not going to rewind that just because it was just, you know, him following DI in. But still, it was just good. I like the options he chose there. Oh, my God. This Look at, look at this side beat. Craig's... A uh, landing option of side B can actually be really good. Like right here, look at the juke. So he lands, wave lands off, and then he side B is the opposite direction. And then Moogie's like, wait, I thought you were going left. <laughs> and then he <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he goes right and Moogie's like, okay, I'm gonna get you over here on the right. And then <laughs> the MSB goes left <laughs> anyway. The jukes. And then he still gets punished. That's so funny. Wow, short and dash attack. Looks for tech chase, doesn't get it though, gets hit. Moogie is going deep off stage. He gives no fucks. Tipper Fair. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Tipper Fair. Look for the second Tipper Fair. But uh, I don't think he gets the, the jump he wanted. And now MSB is trying to come back. I think he messes up his uh, rock recovery. Gets Tipper F smashed forward and dies. So it's evened up. Trying to start off his, uh, his rock shenanigans. Oh, speaking of which, that could have been his life. Let me look at this again. This is a classic setup. If the rock is on the ground and... Uh, Crag is above that rock, you can expect a pillar, because the pillar is going to break the rock and then put you in hit stun all the way at the top of the rock. And then you might be able, you know, at a cheese, uh, in a cheese situation of getting like double up aired or up to up aired if you, you know, if your DI gets messed up. Or you can get up smashed if you like try to air dodge away. Let's see. Okay, trade's fair within there. That's always bad for Claren. The thing about this matchup is that obviously Craig just wants to knock her off stage because her options off stage are very limited versus Craig. Like, Claren has a good recovery until like really high percents, but until she gets those high percents, it's actually pretty decent. You're going to make it back nine times out of ten. But Craig, oh, hold on, hold on. Here? It's kind of wild. Okay, Nair? Reads the tech on the platform with up tilt and chooses to grab here. This is crazy. I feel like most players 
Claren players specifically would have not grabbed here. They would have like done like you know another nair or a fair dare. You know something else. Not saying the grab was the correct option, but it's just shocking he went for grab here. And not only that, he does it again. He land. He's fast falls after the first grab, and then does the same grab again. He's pulling him toward the center and saying, "You're not moving." from this platform. I want you on this platform. That's crazy. That's so hype. And he doesn't get the tipper. That tipper would have been so sick. That would have been sexy. All in. Okay, doesn't another uh, another F smash and doesn't land the tipper unfortunately. Oh, and this is what Mugi tried to do here. So Mugi This is actually kind of crazy. So gets him off stage. He he jumps off stage for the edge guard. Realizes that he can like threaten MSB at this at this range. He's like, "Hey, I'm about to come down and land on you with an attack, and this is going to make uh, MSB either like get off his pillar or try to parry. And if he parries, then he kind of forfeits his life. And if he jumps, he you know he's off his pillar at least. So he jumps at him right, and he's like, "All right, I use my double jump and my air dodge. I gotta get back to the stage. But before I get back to the stage, just in case, I'm going to side B here, and MSB may get hit. So he tries to cover a uh, recovery option here with the side B, but MSB just chooses to go low, thankfully. But uh, he gets hit out of his double jump, and so he just gets F tilted and he dies. Okay, great up B. Nair F tilted. He just kind of eating him alive with these tipper. Oh my god! That DI? Oh, he almost died here. Tipper Nair. I don't think it. I think MSB thought maybe he got hit by like a weaker hit of the Nair, because like the other hits of the Nair, not the final hit of the Nair, is strong. The other hits, even if it's tipped, aren't very strong so maybe he thought he got hit by like the the weaker hits here that tipped and he dies away and he almost dies <laughs> he almost dies at like 60. oh my god okay yeah side b again i don't think um at this point if i'm moogie i'm no longer doing up b because you're just gonna side b through the up b and then i look stupid because you go into free fall after the up b that's not a good option and he, you may be reverse edge guard even, so I'm not gonna be doing that. But Mugi's like confident in like that up B. He's gonna keep doing it because it killed once. Oh, this is bad. Okay, he has a pillar. He has a pillar. Tipper up B. Oh my God. Yep. Let's lands with the with the crag fair. That that fair is gonna take a lot of stocks, especially against Claren. Okay. Grab down air, back air. Oh. Mookie pop off. I'm popping off too. This is so sick. So look at this. So he, he gets a grab, which uh, gets parried, and that uh, Claren doesn't go into parry stone for grab, like I said before. So she's completely safe. Maybe MSB thought he had to read on where Moogie would go, so he tries to nair. But Moogie's already out of the situation because again the grab doesn't put her in, in the free or in the in the, the, the free state. So Moogie uses that to actually reposition. And then times the by the time MSB is not like invincible anymore from the parry and gets a down air here, and then back airs him onto this platform, and then from here this is so sick. He he not only knows that MSB wants to roll, he also read that he would parry. That is so you know how deep in your head someone has to be for this. And then not only did he, not only did he read both of those options, he uses the most swag option Claire could pick here at side B sweet spots, and he kills. It's so sick. And Mookie's popping off. Look at the venue. I wish I wish the right uh you showed the left side. The left side is like jumping. I know I'm jumping. Actually, if you look in this corner here. It's gonna be hard to see. If you look in the bottom left corner here, I am jumping out of my seat. I'm gonna like probably zoom in right there, probably, but like when I edit this, but I am jumping out of my seat because the, the, the reads were so insane for that. All right, next game. So MSB chooses to take Mugi to Frozen Fortress. This stage gives a lot of room, and obviously he's gonna be zoning with that room. Look at the look at that. This the. Oh my God, Craig! You cannot let Craig pick up a rock. Let me just let me just rewind this real quick. He picks the rock up in the very beginning. It's insane that there was so much space between the players that this rock pool was completely unpunishable. Even with Claren's like dash attack, the range on Claren's dash attack has the most range on any dash attack in the game, and she still couldn't reach him in time to punish this rock pull. And look at what happens once he has the rock in hand. Look at this. Look at this. Side B. Because Moogie doesn't want to deal with the rock. He goes to the platform to avoid the rock. And then work his way around the rock. And the MSB side B is him for it. Picks up. Oh, I'm sorry. 
now picks up another rock and then just starts throwing it at him. <laughs> and this is so hard to deal with. <laughs> That's why Mookie's on the platform because he doesn't want to deal with it. But gets the hit on the rock and now it's not a problem. That was insane. Tipper Fair, be is that a jab that extended into that tipper? I think he tried to jab. You know, he tried to down tilt and that got him tippered. And I feel like Mookie could have actually got that down there. That's the crazy part. He could have actually got that down there. I think he just missed spaced. Oh my god, this is crazy. Why, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mookie's choosing, instead of trying to parry that rock, he's choosing to try to hit the rock and break it. Because you have a better chance of that than trying to parry it. Let me tell you. Damn, Mo oh my god. Look at how MSB's game plan just completely changed. Completely changed. He's like, alright, my current play style is not working. I'm going to zone as hard as I can because I'm not able to deal with Claren right here or in this specific like way I'm playing. So he's using a lot of pillars to try to like just just like stop Claren from doing anything to him. Like right here, he picks up a rock, throws it down. He does he goes for the setup I talked about before where you try to break the rock with a pillar. That way you can like try to bring them up and get that cheese kill. So he tries for that. So it doesn't it doesn't work. But he picks up another pillar. And he just puts, pick, picks a rock up because it's unpunishable through the pillar. And now he's just playing the slow game. Look at him. He's like, you're not going to touch me. I have a pillar. He misses the down B, though. Yeah, MSB is just slowing the game down as much as he possibly can. So smart. Like, it, it, it's like a sign of a, of a good player who... For fair? But it's a sign of a good player who knows when to switch up their play style. If, you're, if your boxing game kind of thing isn't working, go for the slower zoning game. Look at this. Oh, I love when they do that. They put the rock down and they break it with down B to send the shards at you. Oh my god, that down smash is like only like a few frames from actually coming out and killing Moogie. Bro, he has to stop parrying in front of this guy. <laughs> MSB is like really like panic parrying and a lot. Look at that. I, oh, then again, that was fine. He thought he would get the, the pebble shot back at him, but like, yeah, he's panic parrying a lot. Again with the side B. This is so crazy. This using the momentum here, because once Craig turns around. It's so hard to tell when he's going to turn around, but like when he gets that turnaround, he's almost safe, I want to say. Cause look at that. He just back for free. Oh, but he does a reckless pillar. Gets it broken, but no punish, really. Moogie's just trying to like look for another hard read, but he really shouldn't at this point. He's down a full stock. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> Is this even necessary to throw the rock off the pillar like this? He's kind of he's cornered himself here with the pillar. He should get rid of it, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Moogie's definitely looking for another... Uh, read here. This uh, yeah, up smash is gonna tell. Oh, that was Tipper even. There was no surviving that. Oh my god. If he fared there, I think he would have actually got the kill. Oh, parry, down smash. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, MSB just slowed this game down so drastically. There's like four minutes, 50 seconds left. Yeah, that's that's a lot of time has gone by for rivals. And Moogie just struggling to find the kill. The crowd hype is actually completely died. I don't know, again, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can hear the crowd or, or whatever in the background of the mic, but. There is no crowd like getting hype right now. <laughs> oh, Tipper! Did he get both? Oh, did he get only one hit of Tipper Fair here? Yeah, he does. He only gets one hit of Tipper Fair. If he got both, I think that would have been the stock, or maybe even just one. But yeah, he got he got the weak hit on the second hit, which sucks. Yeah, look look at yeah. MSP is just taking to the air, man. That's so good. Because it's making Claren have to commit to an aerial, and then he can punish her aerial. That's so smart. That's so smart. But yeah, he's gonna a little stuck here. Oh my god, this combo by Moogie. Moogie, what? He goes for he goes for F smash here. Oh, like then again, if it worked, it would have been crazy. But oh my god, hold on. Well then. One more stock. One more stock. Get the parry. Grab. Grab. Okay, but get the. Oh, you know, I've never seen a Claren do this. L use the grab intentionally for a tech chase. Look at that. I've never seen this. This is this is like two or three years old now. And I've. Look at that. And I've never seen a Claren use grab like this. Look at that. He's just. Oh my god. This is actually so sick. Oh yeah. Nice parry bait. But he's not, think about MSB, he's not, he's not getting much off his hits. And that's, I guess this is a crag thing where you don't really get much off your hits. So he's just like, yeah. the Moogie's getting all this stuff when he hits him. And MSB just has to play a slow game. But he's letting Moogie in too much in the slow game he's playing. That's the problem. That's why Moogie caught back up. Tipper Bear. Tipper Dare? 
Oh, if he hold on, this tipper. I mean, tipper down tilt here. If he had, like jumped into a a dare instead of runoff dare, I think he would have had the set here. But he he gets the weak part because he does the runoff dare. I don't know why he went for runoff dare there. The down tilt doesn't even send you down, so there's no need for that. Maybe he wanted to. I don't, you know, honestly, I don't know what he wanted there. Oh, and he could have teched it. That's the worst part. He gets knocked off stage, and Craig is so oppressive when you're off stage. And he and he does this. This is a really, really bad up B, because you're exposing yourself, and you're you can't. This there's so many things wrong about this up B. But Moogie still has the awareness to drift back, tries to go off stage, and he does. And this right here, when this hits him, he can definitely clearly tech this down smash here. And potentially back air Crag away, like tech, and then your back is toward them, so you back air him away, and then you could probably do a single up B. Or you could probably tech and immediately up B to punish the down smash anyway, so he definitely could have lived that. That's crazy. He definitely could have won that game. And look at MSB. And she's like, holy shit. Thank God. <laughs> so he picks Merchant Port. Uh, it's a bit neutral stage, you know. Maybe that's why he just wants some, some comfort picks. Oh, my God. Triple? F oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So... One more time. MSB lands a down tilt. And this down tilt can either put you in a tech chase, or if you hold in, he can get a combo. So he can get to combo because he held in. He jabs him. See, he's tech rolled out. And now Mookie has, like, tech rolled away from MSB and put himself in the corner. MSB in this position is like, all right, you can either stay in that, in that corner or you can jump. You're going to jump. And he preemptively jumps. That's how you know he did was a read. Because if you look at MSB, he jumps before Moogie even jumped. Because he knows. Jumped. And then fares him for wave landing. Fair. And then Moogie holds in for some reason. Fair. And he holds in for some reason. And fair. And he holds in for some reason. And he could have just got uh, four, four, fared here again for a fourth time. But MSB, I don't think a fourth fair would have killed. Maybe. So he goes for down B. Which is just... <laughs> This is wishful thinking, to be real. But then he goes back to the stage. He's back. Gets in there for Claren's, uh Saibi has, you know, too much lag, so he's able to punish it. Oh, my God. These these up. Think about uh, MSP using these up Bs like this. It's like, yeah, it's really good. Um, when you're directly above them or, like, you know, just, like, in a spot that they have to, like, jump to hit you. Because at that point, they can't, like, hit the pillar or whatever. But when you're doing it in front of them like this, like right here, this isn't hitting them. They have so much time to react and punish this. Like so. And you, you put yourself in a bad spot here. Tipper fair. Tipper. Oh, tipper nair. Tipper fair. Oh, my God. Moogie's missing like every tipper dare on that. Every hit. Every time Moogie has gone on stage to hit MSB on that pillar, he has actually like not gotten it. Oh, my God. Up tilt. Fair. That's crazy. And here comes the rock being oppressive. He keeps, he keeps missing these um these edge guards. It's kind of insane. It's actually kind of a big reason this is so difficult because Craig shouldn't be missing this much against Carlaren. But he he can either parry the up B, down B the up B, or throw rock when she goes above the ledge. But he's he's like kind of missing like all three of these. Okay, gets a. Oh, he, I think he was waiting for an air dodge there, uh, after he hit him with the pillar. But Moogie's not about that. He's from melee. He's gonna he's gonna just stick to attacking most times or jumping. Nice fair. That's gonna take him off stage. Here it is. Oh yeah, exactly. This is so. This is why again, why Craig destroys Claren. Cause look at this. Claren has to for one. Okay, does he get fared off stage? This is this is so much to break down. Look at this. So fair. So he gets fared by Craig. And Craig's fair is disgusting because it's always sending you off stage most in most scenarios, right? So he gets fared and across stage even it sends him this far. And Moogie now has to burn his double jump. To get this far and now he has to use his upbeat early here right, wall jump right and this rock was thrown at a great time because this says you're either going to get hit by this rock and then you're going to be in a worse position or you got to go like, air dodge through this rock like he does also that air dodge was very hard to do in time that so it's crazy he got that clean air dodge so he gets the air dodge but now he doesn't have a double jump because he got fared off stage had to use a double jump and he doesn't have his air dodge because he just had to air dodge the rock and now he gets fared again and he dies so the rock from that far away was able to just say oh yeah you can't recover right and this is where the show recovery shows that it's not that good 
but it takes a certain characters or certain matchups and certain scenarios to show why her, her recovery isn't good. Also, I think MSB went for a ledge cancel here. I, I, but I think he did it way too early. <laughs> and then he put himself in the worst possible scenario. If any of those tippered, he was dead, by the way. Oh, but, you know, maybe we'll just imagine they tippered because MSB messes up his recovery. Okay, that's down B. Up B? Up B? No, he's, he's, oh my god, the conditioning has gotten to the level where MSB is, like, not even up B. Okay, there's the up B. Okay. Oh, man, that down B cost him everything. Hold on. <laughs> he down, oh, no, 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 it didn't cost him that. He just, he did a full jump. That, damn, Moogie read that full jump. Hold on. Look at this. Look at Moogie. Moogie are pre, pre preemptively jumps like how MSB preemptively jumped when he was in the corner. But he did this in neutral. And he just nares him. Because that was a full jump. That wasn't no, no, like, short hop or uh, approaching, like, nair. That was like, I want to stuff your jump here with nair. That was crazy. Gets a combo off of it. MSB jumps again. This is what I said earlier in my video. That MSB likes to jump. Well, did I say that in my video? Or did I cut that? I don't know if I edited that in my last video or not. But MSB... Loves to jump on a hit stun or when he's in disadvantage. He loves it. I mean, I do too. But look at this. He, he Moogie R is already in the air again, knowing he's going to jump out of hit stun or out of like disadvantage. Gets hit again off stage. Yeah, and this is oh he keeps he's missing. The, think about this. This set is right now is that Moogie's missing every crucial thing that she needs to tip her. That's crazy. Like if any of those tipper fared, or if any of those fares tippered, it'd have been a much better uh. Uh, situation for Moogie, but he's missing like all of them. So important to land this. So important because you're making you're giving Crag, who's already hard to kill, even longer stocks. Oh man, yeah, he breaks the rock. That's the thing about the rock; you just have to break it. You can't afford to let him get into position where you have to parry it. Yeah, he goes for the ledge cancel side B cancel there, but he doesn't get the uh, spacing for it. Or is it up B? I don't know if they added the side B cancel yet. See, look again, again, yet again. Instead of trying to parry this side B, you don't, you don't parry this because again, he could have just turned around like so. Well, there he would actually have to parry, but that's just something you don't want to deal with. And look at the punish he gets off jumping anyway. Down air, up smash tipper. That's insane, by the way. No one does that. No one does that. <laughs> like most Clarence here. Most Clarence. I'm gonna tell you right now. They either do tipper F smash at this point or they do, they do tipper down smash. Well, the good clans like Guard would tipper down smash you here. But the fact that Moogie just went for L smash, he's just so gangster. I'm like, look at this shit. Look at that. that. No one does that. No one does tipper up smash off of that. So it makes it hype. Okay. He, oh, that, he was so close. He had the right idea here. And this is actually a perfect uh, dash attack like idea. Like, look. At this point, you see MSB. He wants to pick up the rock. It's very obvious he's going to pick up the rock. So you need to get over there. Dash attack. So, Moogie should dash attack, I think, right here. Like, starting the dash attack right now. But he doesn't... Oh, does he start it? Crack broken. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he started it right there or, or right after that. I don't know. But if he did start it there, then Crack is broken. Because <laughs> that rock throw was immediate. Yeah, there's nothing he could have done then. There's nothing he could have done. Oh, my God. These back out! Oh my god, MSB gets caught trying to do his down me on his on his little pillar here. Oh my god, he gets back here. Tries to jump again. That's what I'm saying. MSB always jumps out of disadvantage. Always. Look at this. And Moogie just has such a hard read on that defensive option by him. Back air. You're going to jump. Back air. You're gonna my god, you're gonna get comboed now. Back air, and that combos into another tipper. Oh, it doesn't combo, but it sets with another back air, and he gets a tipper fair. And then he. Moogie, why did you go for up B here? Oh, then again, what up B really kill? He up B's. Oh, it doesn't even get. Okay, so two things. One, that didn't even get the second hit, unfortunately. And and two, that's never gonna kill Crag. Like, the fact that it killed Crag the first time was already an anomaly. Like, that never kills Crag. Because Crag is the fastest follower in the game. So he's not going to get dragged up by a move that's that weak as much as other characters. Especially if, if Crag is holding down. He's going to go... Uh, he's going to, like, fight that force really well. Because he's a, he's a really good fast follower. So I just don't understand why why MSB... I mean, I, I, not MSB. Why Moogie keeps going for up B. It's not going to kill. It's not going to watch it kill later and I'm just look stupid, but it's not going to kill Crag. It's not something that kills Crag easily unless you get a temper, which is not something you're, you're getting with the spacing you're working with. So maybe he should have like did something else here. I don't even know what you would do here though. Like you get a temper, you get two temper fair. So you probably could have like down aired here. 
and then put put MSB in a really bad spot off stage. Like, yeah, that probably would have been a, or maybe another fair. I don't know. Something not upbeat. Because upbeat is kind of hit. Look at this upbeat. He's in he's in free fall. He gets punished for it. And he gets taken off stage. This is, this is him off of going for that upbeat that does nothing to Craig. Oh my god, he almost got S smashed. <laughs> MSB, just do it just do a down B. I don't understand. Oh my god, these back airs. Again with this upbeat. That, look at how that up B sent him absolutely nowhere. Great back airs. That up B sent him nowhere. I don't understand these up Bs. This is watching. I'm sorry for pausing so much, but you know, I gotta break this stuff down. Oh, again! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I wish more Clarence did this. Look at how he uses the counter. Look at that. Get off me. And he has a good recovery after that. Oh, but he gets parried. And MSB, smartly, smartly. He runs on top of him first. Because if he just did that down smash, Mookie could have just DI'd to the left and down to the pillar. And then he would have teched off the pillar or might not even kill, even regardless, regardless of the tech, because the pillar just would have saved anyway. But, yeah, he um, he, he goes on top of him first, so he goes straight up. Because how Craig's down smash works is the outsides of the down smash send you left or right, respectively. And the inside sends you straight up. And that's why he went straight up. <laughs> so now it's last stock. And, oh, God, and this is going to be a fucking story. So you see how MSB... He's at 92%. He places a pillar here because uh, this is a classic crack thing in between stocks. If you're at high percent, you can put a pillar up off stage and you basically just play with that pillar to your back. Because if they launch you, you can DI to the pillar and tech off that and then you won't die because the pillar is saving you. It's essentially a wall that you're teching off of at all times. So he sets it up already. Mookie really should have got rid of that, to be honest. In, that, in, this, in this time span right here, like when where where MSB is running to the left here, Moogie should have used this time and broke this pillar because this this is gonna give Crag an insane amount of survivability. But he chooses to go for the Crag instead, right? And now MSB has the the, the pillar to his back, and Moogie is gonna try to try to hit him for some reason. Oh my God! Oh my God! The five piece, the, the fifty two damage five piece. Yeah, and this is just really bad because now he's got that 50, 60 damage like string or combo. And the wall, well, not not currently, but the wall was at his back the entire time. So he, wait, where's the, what happened to the wall? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. What happened to the wall? But I missed something clearly. Okay, here it is. What happened to the, what happened to his pillar? Did he, pi oh, oh, there it is right here. Uh, after MSB does this 50 or 60 damage string, Right here, he does the up B um, cancel. or this. Oh, he does have side B cancel then because he just did this. Yeah, he does the side B cancel here, which gets rid of the pillar. But he did it so he can land faster. So he doesn't have the pillar anymore. But, yeah, he, he got a 60 damage string. I think he thinks he doesn't need it anymore because he just did that, that combo. So he's, like, confident he can take the stock now. But he really shouldn't have done that because now he's kind of in, in a bad spot. But he gets his fare here. Let's knock Moogie off stage. Yep, Nair. Yep. Oh, wow. That goes through? I mean, I know he's done it like twice, I think. In this, uh, I'm shocked. Mookie, uh, I must be let that go through. But these fares are doing so much mental damage and like just damage in general. And then also knocking Claren off stage, which is so bad for her in this matchup. Look at that. Again, it's like the third time this set he's done this side beat. Look at this. Like, it, it just just the fact that you go, I'm, I'm going left, psych, I'm going right, <laughs> and then you're fine. That's crazy. And he does his up B, and he doesn't react in time, so he doesn't get anything off it, but he has nothing right here. <gasps> that was an up air. Look at that. Look at the DI here. Hold on, this is the set. This Nair started started the, 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 the combo that ends the set. Nair, that could have, uh, this Nair with that DI could have been a tipper up air here, but he goes for fair. Right, and then with that DI, he still could get another uh, tipper up air right here. But he goes for another fair into this d garbage up B. It's not going to tipper on Craig. He's going to, need to hold down. That's such a bad option. He had game. He had to set right there. What was that? What was that? He had to set. 
and, and he doesn't get the tipper spacing on that F smash. Goes for another up B. These are not going to work. And now, Crack has the pillar behind him again. And so, he's not going to die to anything on the left. And now he's playing the, he's playing that game. MSB is playing with the pillar to his back. Now, he's like, I have the pillar on my back. I'm going to stay in this spot. And I'm zoning you from here. And you can't kill me. Oh, my God. And now, Moog is off stage. Okay, the up beat was fine. Look at this. Okay, he's, he's playing to, with, the, with the pillar to his back even still. Oh, this is really good. Wow, that was insane. That was actually quite nutty. This is nutty. Look at this. So, so MSB gets hit, right? And then he texts here, and Moogie obviously is going to check chase. MSB and me, I mean, I'm sorry, me and everyone else probably would have tech chase or tech rolled to the pillar left because the pillar is going to be like saving me, right? But in hindsight, that's probably terrible because Moogie could up smash at 180 and you'll die. But MSB he tech rolls away from his own pillar. Away from his own pillar. Everyone would have thought you were going to your pillar. MSB went the opposite direction. And he's fine now because of that. Oh, that F smack. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, this is what I mean by Moogie's not landing. The crucial, the crucial tippers. Look at this. This is insane. Right here. He whiffs an F smash. This has so much lag. Moogie has so much time to be like, all right, I'm going to punish this with a tipper up air and I win the game. A tipper back air would have ended the game. A tipper, maybe not forward air, but like you get the point. That Both of these options would have just killed. This is so laggy. And what does he do? He misses spaces in up air and gets the weak hit. You're so close to him, that's not gonna tipper. That would have ended the set again. I see. Okay. A little bit spaghetti, not <sighs> and oh, Look at this spacing. That's not going to tipper. And he misses. <laughs> Moogie misses the second tipper. It's like the fourth like uh, instance where he would have won the set. And there's the pillar back up. Look at this. Look at this. He's going for another up B. This is just so sad. This is heartbreaking. Say yeah, foul. Pillar up again. Nope. Pillar's so good in that scenario. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Everything you do, he's just gonna hold out on because you know the pillar is gonna say it's gonna have his back. Look at the work the pillar is putting in. It's just. Oh my God, Moogie, you had it four or five different ways, and he gets he gets fared. Game five. And look at MSB. That's right. It's not over yet. Oh, Moogie, Moogie, you had the game. You had the set. Look at people on the Smash 4 side getting up now. That's crazy. They're like, what's going on over here? Let's. This is Rivals? It's kind of hype. <laughs> up dead, man. Wait, did he knock over his this water bottle? This is empty. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that. <laughs> That's so cringe. <laughs> MSB. I love MSB so much. <laughs> Look at what MSB does. He puts his water down and it's and it's like completely empty. And the man just says, "Fuck this water bottle, Yeet! bitch." <laughs> Never noticed that. I've watched this set like four or five times in the history of rivals, and I've never caught this. He fucking flings his water bottle. <laughs> I love him so much. He's not playing no fucking games. MSB plays no games. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. What a start. MSB picks up a rock. Claire and immediately just fucking dash attacks at him. But the rock is now in his hands. Oh, nice parry. That's so hard. Oh, that might have up smash? Yeah, that's classic. And here's, here's game five, though. Yep, goes for the same setup he did game one. Oh my god, Tipper Nair, that wasn't a last hit, though, I don't believe, so it's not going to kill at all. Oh, doesn't get the, the, the F tip. What the f... <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a lot of missed inputs I see, because... Did he just... Side B at, at Craig? Yeah. What the... <laughs> what? It has to be missed, but I don't know what he could... What he 
even wanted to do there. It had to be just a, a flub. Oh my god, the rock is so good. That's why you can't die in on that rock, man. It's so good. Crag is so ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> down tilt. Down tilt, yep. Wow, Moogie was good. That was, that was actually insane. The delay on the recovery. Tipper down there. F smash. Hmm. I wonder if her up smash. Oh my god! What? I wonder if her up smash would have killed her, but side B. Side B into up smash? That's a thing? MSB is so sick. How can you not love MSB? Look at how he plays, man. He's so sick. Side B up smash. Oh my god. Moogie just falling apart here. He's not even he's not playing nearly as fast as he was before. It doesn't seem like he knows what to do anymore. Tipper down smash. Yeah, see that's why you go tip, tipper downer into up smash doesn't work. That's usually why people go for the down smash instead. But he gets the up smash anyway. Fares him off stage. Oh the finally the he finally he's pairing the up B. Oh my god, it goes for dis like destruction there. What the f that down B was never gonna land, but the fact that he went for it shows he's super confident right now. That's crazy. Again, though, look, look. This is like the the only game in the set where where Moogie has chosen to not jump over this side B, and look at how much is done. Like, does he, doesn't he do it again right here? I believe no. No, he doesn't. Okay, but but this is like the second or third third time he's actually been hit by this side B by staying on the ground. Stop with the the up bees. This is so this is tilting. This is so tilting. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that was so smart and that was so quick. Look at look at MSB, man. MSB back air. F tilt. He F tilts him off stage, right? And as you can see here on the, on the top right of the screen, there's a pillar indicator, which the it shows where the pillar is on the screen at all times. So you know there's a pillar here. And after this F tilt Moogie would have been completely fine. In fact, Moogie's probably DI'ing out so he can take off the pillar like like uh, MSB did the last game off his own pillar, right? So M so Moogie is probably holding out to take off the pillar here. And MSB takes the pillar away. Right here, right here. He takes the pillar away. So Moogie just drifts into into death. Insane. Is that just, that's just awareness. That's such some, that's some great awareness. Oh my god, Crack's down B is so annoying. <laughs> you can hit Crag and it still comes out. Finally lands a tipper up B, but sends Crag literally nowhere at 70. This is another reason to stop going for these up Bs. Okay, tip oh my god, parries the Nair. Gets nothing off it really though. Oh my god, goes for another. Oh my god, both tipper fair. That sent him nowhere. Crag is so unbelievably heavy. I think this is the set that actually showed me how heavy Crag really was. Yeah, you can't guard this. this what? That worked? Th that shouldn't have worked. That recovery. Look at this. So, okay, this is actually, the first part's actually kind of ridiculous. This is why the, fir the first part's ridiculous because of this. So he put, he, he, he's on the pillar. He picks up a rock before he goes, he gets off the pillar and he jumps with it. He throws the rock. He side B's uh, because this is perfectly lined up to where he will hit the rock when he does side B. And when Crack hits anything with his side B, he can jump out of it. So, He's kind of covering this, this like this is this entire horse, like diagonal area here. So if Moogie had jumped off, that rock, the pebbles would have hit him, and MFB was also has super armor throughout the duration of uh, side B. So that entire part was actually good. But he chooses to right here. He chooses to to to, to do a pillarless recovery, which is terrible because if he gets hit at all here at all, he dies because he doesn't have a pillar anymore. And and then, like if, like, if he down tilted, if Moogie down tilted that, that was a dead crag. But MSB decides to go low with this recovery, which is also quite bad against Claren, because if she swats you right here with F tilt, if that hit him, he died too. But Moogie missed spaces, and so it allows this to, to work, because now he double jumps and then puts himself in a free fall again here, which is fine at this point. And he lands. That should not have worked in the slightest, but it did. And that's why MSB makes the big money. <laughs> oh, I love MSB. Great Nair. That Nair is insane. Doesn't parry that down B offline, which is even more shocking. Oh, my God. Nair. Tech chase. He misses the wave dash. That's unfortunate. You hate to see it. 
Good recovery, to be honest. Uh, it's fine, because you don't care about getting hit in that scenario, because does he have a pillar? He has a pillar. Yeah, there's nothing Mookie can really do to him. Same recovery, right? This is the recovery I was expecting before. This is what I expected. Because this this is the same start, right? This is the exact same start. Grab a, grab a rock when you're on the pillar, throw the rock, side B with the rock, right? Now you cover that entire part diagonally in front of you, and you have super armor that ha that halfway point. And this is what I expected. You to jump out of it, and now you're they have to like do something here because you still have an air dodge to work with. So they if they try to commit, you can air dodge through it, right? And now he's super high up. There's nothing Moogie can really do at this point to really stop uh, Crag's recovery because he's basically made it back on stage and he still has the up B or side B. Look at this, Moogie. Moogie respected the side B here so much. You just have to jump over it. You always jump over the, the side B. Don't deal with the mix-ups, and you can actually punish this move if you just jump over it. But he gets no punish out of it because he chooses to run away from it. And now it's it's just... Moogie just isn't getting anything off of, like, his hits while MSB is just not dying because he's picking some pretty unorthodox options. Oh, that would have been sick if he got that. That would have been so sick. Rock recover. Oh, that was sick! MSB is the GOAT, man. No one can ever tell me otherwise. Look at this. He gets knocked off stage. Makes a little bit... I've spent so much time talking about his recoveries this, this game, but it's just so sick. This is what he's known for. MSB is known for his recoveries. I'm so sorry. But yeah, he picks up a rock again, and this time, instead of doing the same thing where he thro throws it normally and then breaks, we know, with side B, he throws the rock at his own pillar, which bounces off of his pillar. He double jumps, re-grabs his rock, throws it down to give himself a little aerial boost upward, and then he air dodges up to get really high, and then he go he does side B cancel, which allows him to get a little more boost by the cost of his up B. And now he's on the top plat. <laughs> he started all the way off there, and he ended up right here. That's that's so oh, he's so sick. It's, and now Moogie's doing an F smash, thinking he did, like Moogie didn't obviously, as you can see, Moogie had no fucking clue what MSB was doing that entire time, and he does an F smash, thinking he'd be below. He's so insane. Oh my god. And he's back to the, the, the zoning with upbeat pillars. And yeah, again, Moogie's just not able to do anything to him at this point, man. Gets fared. You're basically dead. Yeah, that rock hits you. You can't make it with Claren from there. Yeah, you're done. Look at MSB. I love him so much. Look at MSB. I want to. I love MSB so, so, so much, man. That's it. So. Basically, as you saw, Moogie came out the gate swinging, but as the set progressed, he became like more ex like mentally exhausted, as you can see. And MSB, the the mindset of a god, and the mentality to like just stay consistent for mo the majority of that set. It's like yeah, Moogie came out playing better than MSB for like the first two, maybe even three games, but. He had such a strong mental that he was able just to keep up and eventually drain Moogie out of all of that, and then he won. So, holy shit. That was a set. Flame to your neck, that's the choke slams that are gonna afford to assassinate your whole fam. Absa in the back, she making sure this shit electrifying. Lyrics over, he's so now.